Greetings everyone, I am Bumblewoo, and I'm here with my trusty scent hound Petunia here, uh, just to make a, a bit of a training tutorial video on the dogs. Uh, we're just here at Loggers Point, and I'm making uh, this video uh, mainly because I'm, I'm fairly active on the Steam forums and a bit on the official forums and a lot of multiplayer games. And I get a lot of confusion and um, some questions on the dogs. A lot of people try them, um, and they just kind of stop using them right away. Um, a few people figure them out, and I think they're a great addition to the game. Um, but I thought I'd make this video because I was um, joining a multiplayer game just a couple days ago, and um, someone recognized my name when I popped in there. That was kind of surprising to me, and apparently. Um, well, in the past, on the Steam forums, I've answered a bunch of questions about the Scent Hound and, um, and about some of the complications with it, and some lengthy posts on there, and I've lost them because they were back when the dog was released or a few months after that, and um, he mentioned he had read one, and he got it from a Google search, so I searched how to train a Scent Hound in the Hunter Classic, and sure enough, about three or four links down there. They're not my posts, like the original post, but they're the posts that I replied to. And so I thought that was uh, uh, kind of neat anyways, that um, they're getting enough hits um, that people are, are looking for for this sort of, uh, some of these answers. Uh, so I thought I would do a bit of a video here uh, to help uh, some people out. So the first one is just going to be kind of like the general uh, commands that affect all dogs. Uh, so we'll get kind of going here. Again, this is uh, Petunia, so that's a... Uh, one of the scent hound uh, variations there. Uh, she's my lowest level dog, uh, level 30. Um, so I'll just be using her to do some of the uh, some of the more basic commands. So how the dogs work is uh, they start at level 1, go to level 30, and um, I'm just setting my timer here. Um, and it's ticking away, that's kind of annoying. <clears throat> But they start from level uh, yeah level one all the way to level fifty, and each level of course uh, that they gain it takes longer and longer to gain the next level. Um, but they each dog the retriever the scent hound and the new um, the pointer dog the German pointer dog um, they all share a similar skill set um, the, the common commands, and then they each have a skill tree uh, based on um, um, their unique skills. So you will see here, um, I will open up a command uh, window for the dog, or the menu here, little circle menu here. I don't actually know uh, the original key for it because one of my first tips is to remap that key to uh, one of the buttons on the mouse, like a side mouse button. Um, I just find it uh, uh, much more handy uh, to have that wheel there um, for different kind of reasons because uh, um, I mainly never actually use uh, the wheel. Uh, the best tip is actually to remember the, the keys for each of these commands here. Um, so you'll have come here, which is, of course, a very important one to use all the time. Um, it is the letter J um, on the keyboard. Um, I think of it as uh, jump up and come here. That's J to remember that one. Um, stay is also the other one used a lot. It's P. Uh, I mainly think of it as pause, pause the dog. So I remember J and P. Um, sit and lay down you pretty much never use unless you're trying to take some sort of photo um, in and out of blind uh, that's not a big one either I think it's O um, to do that and then that's the same for every dog um, except on the left here is the um, it's it's mapped to U uh, the letter U kinda I think of it as use uh, use your the next skill or use the dog skill um, and that changes uh, per dog um, you'll notice uh, when I'm playing here, um, you'll see that I'll be walking, just auto walk or so, and then all of a sudden the menu will pop up. And I do that mainly because, as you can see, the dog highlights. Um, I'm not actually using the menu, but if I hit my side mouse button, which I have it mapped to, it pauses myself walking and then highlights the dog. So this comes handy uh, down the line when the dog's off tracking into the trees or so. Um, also with the pointer dog, um, you just uh, hit that. Just you're just using one hand. You're auto. You're on auto walk, so I'm just using my uh, mouse hand, anyways. And you can just pause, uh, pause walking by doing this, and see where the dog is. 
Um, so you might see the menu pop up a lot, but it's usually just me checking the location of the dog. Um, that's uh, another really good tip too. Um, but I never really use the uh, the wheel at all because um, if you want the dog to, to come to you, you got to stop and move the mouse around to get the right one. It's easy to miss and hit the wrong thing. Um, so that's just the recall that I'll come here. Uh, so mainly I just remember the keys. Um, as I was saying before there. So you're just kind of walking along waiting for a buck to call or so. Um, you want the dog to pause or to stay. Let's hit the P key. Down at the corner the exclamation mark uh, shows the dog understood it and will lay down. Which you will do now. Um, and that's a really important command because um, the dog itself has its own spook radius uh, with the player. Um, the stay command uh, sets the spook radius pretty much to zero. Um, so you can have a big 400 uh, elk walk on the dog here and it will never spook as long as the dog is set um, into the stay command. But you'll see that's really handy. You don't need to pause. Um, you just kind of keep walking here and I can recall her with the letter J as long as she understands it. There is, of course, always a chance for the dog to fail understanding the command, um, which will pop up in the bottom left with a little question mark and a little whimper. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the first couple tips is just to remap that wheel to the mouse so you can check your dog's location easily um, just by highlighting the dog like that. And then to map those or to remember the key mappings um, for the dog there. And of course, um, U is to get the dog to do its main ability. Um, she can't do it right now, of course, because she only tracks the blood tracks. Um, yeah, so... Um, that's kind of uh, some of the basic uh, hints there. Another one that I find valuable is, of course, um, on the hunter mate. I'll just uh, stay the dog here. You, I don't know if you can see it much on the YouTube here because I don't really record in super high resolution. It should be 720 or so. But um, there is a green dot on the hunter mate. That's the GPS um, location on the dog. And a lot of people have uh, mixed feelings about this sort of things. So I find it extremely uh, helpful. Um, for for various reasons, uh, which I can sort of get into um, as I do several of these videos, because I think it's going to take a couple of videos before I get through everything. Um, this is just I'm just using the Sandhound dog for kind of the general um, tips for the dogs, because they all share this sort of same thing. Um, but as you can see, you can't really see the dog from here, but you highlight her. There she is. Um, but that kind of shows you where she is on the on the hunter mate when you can't see her, and if the highlighting, um, it's it's hard to tell distance with the highlighting, so the GPS can really figure it out. So she's probably about 50 meters there, just telling by the GPS. You kind of get to know it, and uh, there she's 46 meters. So you kind of it it does get um, it definitely gets important um, sorting that out. Now a few things um, to uh, to acknowledge is they've done a done a few changes uh, to the dog since the pointer came out. Um, it is sort of confusing trying to figure out how the spooking works with the dog. A lot of complaints that people have is they think their dog's spooking everything. Um, before the dog did have a fairly big spook radius. As you can see the dog has different stances. Um, when I'm up like that it'll be running and it crouched down it copies you and goes into a stealth mode. Um, sort of crawl like that and that changes the spook radius of the dog as well but the radius that the dog spooks changes uh, depending on what it's doing um, when she's tracking uh, she pretty much has no spook radius but when she's running around like this she does um, so yeah there's a there's a few things really to know about that because she can spook when she's running around like this and and it's not um, it's kind of a cumulative um, with the player um, but it's not it's not as if you have like two people with you she adds to the to the chance of a spook but very kind of limited uh, in, in a sort of way but crouching definitely reduces that um, but one very important thing uh, that people were having trouble with when a dog came out is um, understanding one of the one of the base um, uh, skills that the, that all the dogs have, and that's to follow the stance of the player. Uh, so if we bring the dog over here, we lay her down. She'll be at a uh, um, a zero range spook radius, of course. So what would happen is you're you're hunting with your dog, you get your scent hound with you, 
And people, it was driving people nuts because the dog was spooking everything. But you'd be, you'd be walking along, you hear a buck call uh, straight ahead. Um, and what you would do is you would uh, crouch, of course, sneak up to the, or head towards the buck call, um, tell the dog to lay down. That's reducing the, uh, the spook radius to pretty much nothing. So if the, the animal spooks, you know it's um, the player's fault. And what was happening is when, when the dogs were released, um, there's a bleat call there off to the west. Um, when the dogs were released, I guess the north, um, they only had, there was a skill that governs um, how far um, the dog will stay away from you. So you're pretty much leashed to the dog. And it was something like 30, 30, 35 meters or something like that when they started at. So you'd be sneaking sneaking up to um, um, this buck or so with the dog there. And then you'd be sneaking, but I'm going to stand up for this demonstration. And you'd hit 35 meters or so. And you'd be, you wouldn't even know this, but I'm going to recall the dog, but you wouldn't really. You'd, you'd break this 35 meter and the dog would recall on its own because it can't be more than 35 meters away. And of course... The dog would be running full tilt here while you're sneaking up, and the dog would spook the, the deer. So that was driving people nuts, and it's uh, something that um, caused a lot of people to stop because they couldn't quite understand why that was happening, um, and it was spooking a lot of the stuff. As the dog levels up at level 30, the range became greater and greater, and at this point it was 75 meters. So that's where the GPS became handy. Um, I could tell about, um, I could lay the dog down, and then I could... Um, there, see, level 30, she still couldn't understand that. There, lay her down. Um, the GPS helped, uh, because you can sort of tell where 75 meters is on the GPS, so, uh, and I wouldn't be running out of here, but you'd be crawling away, she'd be laying back there, uh, making sure she doesn't, uh, spook the animal. Um, but you can, you can get some good distance here. After a while, you get kind of, um... I kind of know where the 75 is, so I'd be I'd be crouch walking um, up to the deer, and I'd be getting about oh well, this far, and I'd be getting a little uncomfortable watching the GPS on there, knowing that I'm about hitting that 75. And of course, I can't see her. You highlight, and then you can see about where she is. You can check the distance, and she's kind of over that ledge, so it's not really a great example. Where are you? There, she's right. Right behind there, 78 or so. Um, so you, you sort of get to... She'll see what it ran by now. And it, it wasn't too much of a big deal because she uh, she copies your stance, right? So if I recall her in, I'm standing up straight. She'll, Since I'm standing up straight, she'll bolt. Just run full speed here. And there, here she comes. And what would happen, though, is... Um, there's always a, when you crouch, there's a, kind of like a roll check, um, a chance that she will copy the stance, or a chance that she will fail copying your stance, and she only has two stances, right? Crouch, sneak, or stand up and run around, or walk, um, and she just does a check once in a while uh, to copy the stance, but the problem is um, she can fail that check, so what would happen is um, she'd be laying, laying down, and I would uh, do the same thing. Um, there was a buck that was calling, so I could sort of demonstrate, but I don't want to take it that long to, to get my point across here. Um, yeah, you'd be sneaking in, and then just say, um, I hit that 75 meter mark. Well, when I hit the 75 meter mark, if I was still crouched, she would get up to come to me, and there would be a check. Uh, to see if she would get up and run or, or copy my stance. Look, she just failed it. Um, there's an example right there. She's sprinting at me, and I'm encroached. She failed her check. So what would happen is it normally isn't an issue um, because normally when that happens, um, she would sneak in. She would sneak back to me. So it wouldn't really matter. Um, once it hit 75 meters, um, I wouldn't have to worry about it. The main problem was she would get up and sprint at you, right? She would fail her check just like that. When you're sneaking towards the buck, she'd come sprinting at you full speed, spook the animal. Um, but most times, but see, even at level 30, you can get the, it to fail. And she is having trouble today. There we go. Lay her down there. And then if I'm crouched... 
When I do the recall, there should be a check uh, that she copies my stance. And there she goes. So now she's crawling. So that's what I mean. Once you hit 75 meters, but when you started out with it, it was only like 35 meters or so. And, and so the dog kept recalling on people and spooking everything. And it would be so low level, it would fail that check and be running instead of sneaking back to the owner. So that was the main problem. And I, it's kind of a long story to tell people that, but it's important. Uh, I want to let people know that is because if you got frustrated with the dog, you might... Uh, um, enjoy the dog more now because one of the latest patch notes when the when the pointer dog came out um, was that they increased the stay command for all dogs no matter what to 150 meters and some people get a little bit um, got a little bit confused about what that means they thought maybe they could issue the stay command from anywhere from up to 150 meters like if the dog's 100 meters that way you could tell it to stay out there but that's not what it is it only has like a range of 10 meters like the dog has to be within 10 meters to actually do the command um, what it is is um, hit the wrong button there what it is actually I want her out in the road get back here I want her out in the road here because I don't know come on down this way but pretty much it's made it a lot easier because instead of um, instead of 75 meters, which level 30 dog had, um, it's now 150. So you can just keep going. She won't budge. There is no fail check on this one at all. Like when she's staying, she will be there um, until I hit 150 meters. So you can just keep going now. So I mainly bring that up just so people know that um, if that's the issue you're having, it's now a lot easier, even at the low level dogs. You can tell them to, to stay back there and she will so um, that's always handy to do uh, so there she is there I don't even know how far I am now but see she's yeah, 90 meters now and, and I'll, I'll keep going another 50 meters so that's plenty of space uh, to keep that dog in the state command and it won't interfere um, with the hunt at all so and here's just another example of it's gonna be really hard to see here though but if I do um, the recall and crouch position, she should copy my stance high enough level and just sneak back from there. So even if you're hitting that 150 meter, you can just do that and she'll come back. Uh, yep, there she is. Yep, she's crawling back. She'll take forever to get here. Um, but all you got to do is stand back up again. Uh, it'll do that check to see if she copies my stance. She did and she'll come running back in again. Um, so that's um, pretty much it just for like the general um, introduction to it. Um, there's the other stuff like uh, when you highlight your dog with the menu you see in the top right you'll see your level and there's all that fancy stuff with the refreshed and how much XP you gain and everything like that. Um, I'll try and explain a bit more of that when I get into the pointer dog because there's a lot of confusion about how to get that 200% and when, when it goes down and, and all that sort of good stuff. Um, but what I'm probably going to do is either this video or if it's gone too long um, I'll just make another video is we'll do a bit of a hunt and because there's a few other things with the scent hound just with the tracking that got a, a few people confused um, and so I'll show some tips and tricks with uh, just like um, just hunting and seeing how to do the tracking properly with the lowest chance of the dog getting confused now, a lot of people just say the dog can't track anything. I can track faster than the dog. Um, and that's true. You can actually, most of the time, track faster than the dog, even at level 30 or even higher. Um, but the point of the dog is, um, well, there's many different advantages. And I'll get I'll get into that, too, maybe a bit more detail when, I, when I'm doing the hunt, where I, use, where I get the most advantage of using it. Um, it's mainly just bow hunting, right, um, where it's most advantageous. Um, but I'll get into that. So uh, just thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much on it. It took a bit to uh, uh, get some of that uh, basic stuff explained. But I want to get a couple of those tips because they apply to everything, right? Remap that uh, to mouse button um, so you can easily highlight the dog and learn those um, the hotkeys. They really help. And just to kind of understand the spook radius of the dog and its chance to copy your your stance. Um, just important things to remember and and uh, remember that it is better now like if you got frustrated with the dog before that that 150 meter stay command is, is a lot of help so thanks for checking uh, the video out 
And um, as I mean, I might actually just tack on a hunt to the next. I'm not too sure. Um, but either way, um, I'll see you in the hunt.